Life is a big school. We all have to learn. In this captivating tale, we follow Sinbad the Sailor on his sixth voyage, filled with adventure, shipwrecks, and unexpected encounters. Despite surviving numerous shipwrecks, Sinbad embarks on another daring journey, defying the pleas of his loved ones. Setting sail from a seaport, fate takes an unexpected turn as the captain and pilot lose their way. Amidst a rapid current, the ship is driven towards an impassable mountain. Desperation fills the air as the vessel crashes, breaking apart. Miraculously, Sinbad and his fellow travelers manage to salvage their lives, provisions, and valuable cargo. Stranded at the foot of the mountain, a haunting sight greets Sinbad. A landscape strewn with wreckage, human remains, and a vast array of precious goods. The mountain's stones shimmer with crystal, rubies, and other gems. A unique fountain of pitch and a beach adorned with ambergris add to the mystique. As hope dwindles, Sindbad's survival instinct compels him to construct a sturdy raft from timber and ropes salvaged from the wreckage. Determined to escape, he carefully loads it with valuable chests, including rubies, emeralds, and fragrant goods. Venturing into an underground river, Sinbad embarks on a perilous voyage, shrouded in darkness. Drifting blindly, he encounters treacherously low arches, narrowly avoiding disaster. With limited provisions, he battles hunger and uncertainty. Against all odds, Sindbad awakens to find himself on a vast plain, his raft secured by a group of curious locals. Grateful and amazed, he communicates his remarkable tale, though hindered by the language barrier. Impressed by Sindbad's extraordinary journey, the locals escort him to their king's court. There, he presents himself before the king, sharing his story of survival and the wonders he discovered. The city of Serendib, nestled in a scenic valley, captivates Sinbad with its vibrant markets, rare minerals, precious pearls, and lush vegetation. He embarks on a pilgrimage to the place where Adam once resided. Having amassed wealth and wonders from Serendib, Sindbad sets sail once again, homeward bound to Baghdad. Among his treasured possessions is a letter from the king of Serendib, addressed to the Caliph of Baghdad, detailing Sindbad's extraordinary exploits. As Sindbad's ship enters the bustling harbor of Baghdad, rumors of his return spread like wildfire. The city eagerly anticipates the arrival of the renowned sailor, eager to witness the treasures he brings and hear his tales of adventure. Stepping onto the docks, Sinbad is greeted by a jubilant crowd, their cheers and applause filling the air. The people of Baghdad marvel at his ship, laden with precious goods, and gather around him, eager to hear his tales. With great anticipation, Sinbad presents himself before the Caliph, humbly offering the letter from the King of Serendib. The Caliph, intrigued by Sinbad's adventures, listens attentively as he recounts the perils and wonders he encountered on his sixth voyage. Impressed by Sinbad's bravery, resilience, and the treasures he brought back, the Caliph rewards him with honors and grants him a prominent place in his court. Sinbad's tales become legendary, captivating audiences and inspiring dreams of adventure. 
And so, Sinbad's voyages continue, each one more incredible than the last, etching his name into the annals of seafaring legends. Sinbad, the sailor who braved the seas and triumphed over countless perils, embarks on new adventures, forever etching his name into the annals of seafaring legends.